Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Dodge with the P0335 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Dodge P0335 code? Well, it's a crankshaft position sensor A circuit malfunction. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses the crankshaft position sensor to know the location of the crankshaft as it spins, uses this for timing, and it's seen an error inside the circuit, so I have to be troubleshooted to know why. And there's two main causes of this. It'll either be the crankshaft position sensor or in the wiring. And there can be two crankshaft position sensors. Usually there's just one, but in many vehicles nowadays, uh, there can be two, so keep that in mind. And most people would just go ahead and swap out the crankshaft position sensor if there's a if they get this error code. But the wiring is pretty simple to check out. It's not very difficult to understand. And what's going on with the wiring harness is uh, in older Dodges, there would be two wires, and in newer ones, there could be four. So you always want to get the schematic for your particular Dodge and engine. But by far, the most common is three wire. And what's going on with this is like the middle right here will be ground. One of the outer pins will have a reference voltage that's always on. It comes from the battery. So when the key gets turned in the on position, uh, one of the outer pins will have voltage to power the plug. Usually it's 12 volts, but it can also be like 5 volts or 8 volts. But it's just always voltage coming to this plug for power. And the other wire is going back to the onboard computer to report what's going on. And when it's attached to a sensor, it will detect when there's metal directly in front of it and send a pulse back to the onboard computer, usually like 5 volts. And so quite often what mechanics will do is they'll take this plug off, they'll attach it to a known good sensor, they'll come in from the back, they'll go from ground to the return wire, and they'll put a piece of metal in front of the sensor and see if it changes. It goes like 5 volts to 0 volts, and they know the whole circuit's working. And that's just a real quick, easy way that many mechanics test these. And one thing to mention, though, is that be sure to check this for power. When you turn the key to the on position, you should be getting steady voltage to here. And if you're not, then there's likely a blown fuse or an open inside this wiring, but it's quite often it's a blown fuse. And the fuse is usually located inside the engine compartment. There'll be a fuse box, and you can check inside of there. Usually it's in there, but sometimes it could be underneath the dash, but usually it's inside the engine compartment. So be sure to check for a blown fuse if, if you're not getting no voltage to the plug. And so if you know the wiring's good and you know that it hasn't blown no fuse or anything like that, then very likely you are going to have to change out this crankshaft position sensor. And I'll jump over on Amazon, give you an idea how much they cost. They're running around $15, $20. Looks like this one's around $86. But they're, they're usually low-cost parts. They're not like high-cost parts or nothing. The main problem with, with these sensors is if there's anything in the way to get to them because changing out the sensor itself is pretty simple usually. They just usually have like one or two bolts. You unplug the harness, take the bolt off, put in the new one, and plug the harness back in, you're good to go. But if there's anything in the way, then it can't be more difficult. It just varies from dodge to dodge. Sometimes they could be behind timing covers. You have to remove the whole timing cover, things like this. But it is straightforward. You basically find the sensor, you unbolt it, take the harness off, bolt on the new one, and that's basically it. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of how to go about fixing a Dodge with the P0335 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.